Which brings us back to MBS. Can the Saudi Crown Prince, you heard Lila in part one of our discussion, Ambassador, say how uh, he, the Saudis have good relations with both India and Pakistan. Is there something he can do in this situation? Uh, you know, uh, just a couple of points. Uh, 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 let me just take the last point which you asked very specifically first, and if you would allow me to just come back to the two earlier points. Uh, 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 I, as I earlier mentioned to you, that uh, in so far as disputes between India and Pakistan are concerned, there is already an agreed mechanism between the two countries to resolve such dispute, which is outlined under Shimla Agreement and under Law Declaration. Disputes are bilateral, and they must be resolved only bilaterally. So that is insofar as your last point is concerned. Uh, only with all, bilaterally. With all, sorry? Only bilaterally. But uh, Pakistan doesn't want the, that position. Well, they are signatory <laughs> to the Shimla Agreement. I'm sure you're right. aware of that. Uh, uh, if I could just come back to the two earlier points which uh, Mr. Bukhari, uh, a very learned scholar from Washington made and uh, uh, Madam also made here. Uh, uh, you know, put, I think it is important to understand uh, you know, that there is a there is a drawing room reality of uh, Jammu and Kashmir, which people talk, but there is also a, a ground reality of what actually happens uh, uh, in the field. Now, if you look at Jammu and Kashmir, uh, local governance, I mean, let me put it in a larger framework of local governance, which has many variables, health, infrastructure, development, democracy, among others. Now, if you look at that, uh, our last uh, local body elections, which is the most uh, ground level democratic form elections, they took place just last year uh, in 4,500 panchayat. Panchayat is our locust form of the governance. There were 25,000 candidates, roughly more than 5 million, close to 6 million people voted in those elections with a voting percentage of 75%. So uh, uh, I'm, these are the facts. These are not, uh, these are not the uh, imaginations or, uh, you know, what we, we think is being happening there. This is the reality which is actually happening. Uh, uh, second point, which I think I must uh, mention purely as a contradiction to what uh, said, I we strongly uh, uh, believe that Jammu and Kashmir is an integral part of India. Uh, on our side, as I said, there are local governance issues for which there is an established mechanism. We are not a banana republic which which imposes government on the on the other people. We are not sure about the other part of Jammu and Kashmir, which is an integral part of us, but not in our physical control as mm. to what is happening in in that part of it. So I think uh, 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 that remains the, the state of the play uh, on the ground. Uh, I could not touch upon one point relating to connecting dots, which you mentioned earlier, which Mr. Bukhari also mentioned. You will find that wherever you talk in our region of terrorism, you will find a dot linking it to Pakistan. You talk of Afghanistan, Afghanistan will link it to Pakistan. Talk to Iran, Iran will link it to Pakistan. Where did you find Osama bin Laden? Right in the backyard of Pakistan. Where did you find Al Zawahiri? Found Pakistan. So you know it's a it, like an industry has a supply chain. A country has a supply chain. 